Welcome back from Farm to You to Table by HEB. Become the designer by selecting your monthly changing Lone Star Living Bouquet plus a beautiful bunch and exclusive vase that goes perfect with this arrangement. Welcome back everyone. It's June and it's summertime. And a few months ago we had a beautiful bouquet that had a succulent in it. And guess what? We have the succulent back again in this June bouquet. I'm so excited about this gorgeous, beautiful, long living bouquet for June. And the plus one, which is Charmelia, which we know will last forever. Um, I love this flower because again, it just so consistently lasts a long, long, long time. You can have it honestly for weeks and weeks in your home with proper water care and everything else like that. So here we are. We're gonna start with this beautiful bouquet and we're gonna open it up. Again, I love the color, it's fresh. It reminds me of fresh summer. Um, I just love the combination of the color. Um, we have, you know, basically we have complementary colors in the blue and the yellow, but also it makes a fresh feel too. It's nice and summery. It feels fresh and clean, which is perfect for that grilling season, taking it to someone's home as a gift, or you know what, making that centerpiece in your house for those guests coming over to um, help you eat all your grilled foods or for Father's Day or whatever you're doing this month. So I think it's just a great item to have. So we're going to take this beautiful bouquet and we're going to clean it off to make sure that the stems are clean and the, um, everything is out of the water. Again, that is so important to keep that bouquet healthy and beautiful. So there we have that. And the next I'm gonna add some of our flower food into our vase to get that started. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stir it, you know me. I'm gonna go off the book and use my flower stem because guess what? I don't have a spoon with me or a knife or anything else to stir it with right this second. So I'm just gonna use that. So this is this beautiful bouquet, and we're gonna start off just by taking this out first because I love the succulent, that is a showstopper. And if you have one of these from a few months ago, here's another one to add to your collection in your garden, or you know what, if that one didn't make it, here's another chance to try that again. So I just hope that you can do this beautifully in your garden. Again, it grows so gorgeous. Put it in the, in the soil and it will root beautifully just like it is. Do nothing to it, just cut off this gorgeous little stem. We'll move a few things around. I'm going to put my hydrangea more toward the center um, so it's not off to one side because again it's a really beautiful blue color and I love it in this bouquet. And again the Charmelia is going to have a lot of different colors ranges in it. You'll have some yellow, some oranges, some pinks. I did the dark pink this time just because again it's one of those complementary um, colors to add to yellow. Um, so I just love um, to do that in there because you get kind of red because you really it's kind of like a a different tonality of primary colors. You know, primary colors are red, blue, and yellow. So we kind of did a pink, which is a version of red, and blue and yellow. So we're doing a you know a little bit of primary complementary colors going on. Beautiful. We're gonna add those beautiful stems of Charmelia to this boo, um, this beautiful arrangement. Um, and it's just really beautiful. And well, again, we talked about quadrating things out and adding things in for symmetry. And we're gonna do that again. We're gonna add this, this um, Charmelia stems to the four corners and maybe in the top. I don't want it to be too heavy with flowers because then it starts crushing all the flowers. You don't get to enjoy all the stems or all the blooms of the flower when you have too many stems in here. So we're gonna see how it looks. Again, you're the designer. You know when to stop, when things look right and when things don't look right. So Again, you be the designer, empower yourself to like know when to stop. It's one of those things, you know, like when you start adding something to something, like do I need to stop there? If it looks beautiful and right, then it's probably really beautiful. I think your guests will love it and you will too. So you're the designer. I'm gonna cut this off. And again, I'm gonna add it to the four corners. And it's really gonna fill out this, um, this, this beautiful arrangement because again, there's so many beautiful bracts Bracts are the bracking is when it comes off the um, when it shoots off from the main stem to the to the bloom. So we have bracking going on, and so they have beautiful long bracts to come in off to make this gorgeous Charmelia stem. Again, some more verbiage for you to um, to wow your friends with, or just for personal use. Again, you don't have to overwhelm your friends with some stuff like, "Hey, I'm this designer and listen to all the stems." But you know, for me, it's more of learning and growing as your, you know, as a person and going the extra mile. But you know what? If you can teach someone else too, you know what? That's helpful. We're gonna go here, and honestly, I think this is spectacularly pretty. It's nice and full, and but see how 
beautifully. It just goes around here, kind of halos it a little bit, um, this arrangement, so it's not really compact. I think if I add more stems of this into this arrangement, it may start to take away from the hydrangea or from the oryngium or some of the, some of the palms. So I don't want to overwhelm it. My last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the showstopper, which is a gorgeous Echeveria. I love succulents. I think they're just so beautiful and so gorgeous. And again, you can grow this in your garden pretty much everywhere. It will die in the, like if you up in the, you know, toward Dallas or toward, you know, the north part of Texas, it will die because of winter. Um, but you know what? You can bring it inside. I bring mine inside because I love, I love my succulents. We're just gonna add this right here in the top and there we are, this gorgeous arrangement for June. Again, to give to someone, to have for a centerpiece in your table, and don't forget about, look at this, all these extra stems of Tormelia. Again, you can fill this in all your bathrooms and maybe some other places in your house to welcome all your guests. Happy grilling, happy June, and happy summer. Follow us for a new video every month.